Kirik K Slim versus Kirik K Mini Plus. What is the difference between Kirik K Slim versus Kirik K Mini Plus? What is the purpose of K Mini Plus? K Mini Plus versus K Slim. In today's video, I'm going to show you Kirik K Slim versus Kirik K Mini Plus. The differences between them, the features, how they look like, how to compare them, which one will be the best for your home or for your new apartment. And let's dive right in. So in this video, we are going to see the overview of the Keurig Coffee Maker. We are going to be taking a look at the features, the differences that comes between them and how to compare them. This is the Keurig K Mini Plus. This is the Keurig K Slim. And you can see the differences. This is a little bit smaller and then the K Slim is a little bigger. We are going to start the overview from the back. To compare everything so when we look at the back of this the k mini plus versus the k slim you can see that the k slim have the plug attached to the base this is attached here if you look at the mini it has a little storage at the back that this click in which really saves space you can release this or you can push it back in once you finish using it so that is one difference that i see between the mini plus the k slim also the k slim have the reservoir right here where you can lift it like that at the back with the reservoir for the mini plus it's right on top where you just lift it it's very smaller than the case limb you can see the case limb is very long and big compared to the mini where the reservoir is very small with the reservoir you can see the cover for the reservoir this one is attached to it you can open it and close it and when we take a look at the case slim, you can just take the cover apart from the reservoir. It's not attached to the reservoir. So that's another difference. So it's easy to lift and put back. Just slide it and then it fits. This one too also it's easy to take out. So those are the reservoirs. Now let's take a look at the front. So when you're looking at the front of both of these Curie Coffee Maker, we take a look at what is here when you take this apart. This is actual a storage. This is a coffee K pot storage that comes with the mini where you can store your coffee pot, your K Curie in here, which makes it a little convenient that you don't have to have your coffee on the counter if you don't want to. So that is something that is different from the mini. When you look at the K Slim, it doesn't have any storage at all. So when we look at the tray, both of these, it has the drip and then the K mini also comes with the drip. With the K-Mini Plus, you can take the tray out and wash it as well. And this has the silver around it. It's a removable tray that you can wash with the drip and then the drip tray in. So it's removable to wash. And then the same thing with the K-Slim. You can remove the tray and wash it as well. So both of these, the design is the same. And when we look at the base here, this is all attached to the base so you cannot remove which is the base here you cannot remove it the same thing with the case limb also you cannot remove the base both of the drip and the tray are removable and all you just put it back in slide it and then it fits the same thing with this slide it and then it fits so we are looking at the top of the Curie K coffee maker you can see the meaning has a different design it has this silver K sign here that you push to make the coffee it has the power button this is the power turn on gives you option of making a strong coffee also it has the blinking light here it doesn't have any other button but then when you look at the K slim you can see that this has few buttons on the top it has the power button it has the disc scale also it have add water just in case you forgot to add water to your reservoir it has the three cup sizes eight ounce ten ounce and then the 12 ounce and this is the curic logo that you push or the button you push to make the coffee so you see there is a difference between how the designs is made how the model looks like so both of these are all have the same handle they are silver handles when you open the curic mini the k mini you can see the inside here and then when we open the case limb also 
you see the inside they both have the same inside looking just a little difference you can see here this is different model compared to this one here which is this apart from that they have the noodle here the same noodle this has a little curve here but the case lane doesn't have that here now when you come to the card holder this they both look the same the mini look the same as the case lane and you can take this out so we just take this out to see now this is the pod holder all right and then let's see how the case slim also look like and this is the case slim also so they both look the same the inside the outside all look the same so it looks like the same size both of these are the same size so we can put this back in so now you know and those pod holder you can open this just push down on this and then this opens out for you to be able to clean it and just twist it back on and then you can put it back the same thing with this and this is easy to take apart well, you just twist it and then you twist it it comes apart and just put it back on twist back on it and then just put this back just make sure you align it this little angles here goes with this so align it and then just push it in and then that should close and then the same thing with the k just align it to the little holes push it in that should be easy you just push it down and then it closes all right so that is the the features with where you put the pad and then make the coffee and that's how everything comes by you can see all the differences that comes with this brewer features over with them the k mini plus you can see it has the strong button which you can make either a regular coffee or a strong one to do that when you turn it on push this button first before you push the brew button and then you can have a stronger coffee that is for the mini plus with the case limb you have three cup sizes that you can choose from also it has the scale button showing this also you can descale but you just have to not put any coffee in and just put the water and then just push this and then we'll just descale it without pushing any button here but with the case slim you do have a descale button to clean the coffee you have add water button to add water if you forgot to add water before pushing to make coffee this will light up for you to remind you that you need to add water to it it has three cup sizes eight ounces ten ounces and twelve ounces with this it doesn't have anything like that all you have to do is fill the reservoir push the button and it just takes two minutes to heat up a process before making the coffee but the case limb doesn't have that so you have all this button where the mini is missing now when you come to storage the k mini plus have a storage where the k slim doesn't have a storage attached to it so with the mini the storage you'll be able to put in your coffee pot for easy access and also once you fill that just cover it and push this back in here after you make your coffee and that is also stays on your counter so this is really good so the mini have a hot storage where it makes it easy simple to feed on your counter with no mess but you can see the case limb doesn't have a cold storage and thus you have to actually tight this together to make it convenient to fit so that is another convenient feature with the mini it has the cord storage also with the mini easy to travel with you can use a cap or you can use a travel mark to use a travel mark all you have to do is you remove the drip tray and you can set your mug right there to make your coffee or you can also just remove this and then you can set your mug in as well the same thing with the Keurig K you can also use a travel mug all you have to do is remove the drip tray then you can just put this in there and make your coffee so you do have options both of these almost have the same or you can just remove the whole tray and then make the coffee so you have options to use all these it's very easy to use them another feature with the K mini plus so this is 90 seconds after last brew it will automatically turn it off save energy and then also the cake slim also after five minutes of your last brew turns it off the K mini takes about two minutes to make a full coffee because it takes two minutes to use the mini plus coffee maker with the Keurig slim it only takes one minute to make full cup coffee one minute coffee is done 
one and i really love that about this also another feature with the case slim that i found very interesting is the high altitude you can set a high altitude for the case slim coffee maker how to set that up is the brew i have never heard that before but you can actually set the high altitude to 5000 feet the curic limb and how to do that is press down on the curic button here with the eight ounce and then you just press down on both of these for three seconds and that will set the high altitude to 5000 feet and i don't know what that is supposed to do with the coffee but that is something else you can set up on your case limb so just for you to know that there is some settings you can do to make your coffee stronger or set it up on the high altitude how to care for your curic k coffee maker make sure that periodically you are washing the reservoir and also the drip trays with soapy water and rinse them with the clean water to keep them clean and fresh all the time if you are traveling make sure you dump all the water out of the reservoir and put them to dry make sure that you don't leave any water for some time because that can make some nasty things in the reservoir especially for the curic case slim it's a bigger reservoir that can make a lot of mess in there also periodically try to wash the, the coffee pod holder once in a while and descale it because sometimes you have coffee grinds in there or stains from the coffee so once in a while try to clean it because you can actually take this apart to clean both of these neatly put it back so remember to wash the k pod holder to wash it once in a while to keep it clean all the time to have a fresh coffee and you do that through descaling if you can you can descale once a week to make sure that you are always having a fresh coffee all the time on the mini mini has all a silver base but then on the case slim it's just a solid black it doesn't have a silver around it that's the overview of our curic k slim versus curic k mini glass hello friends so i just walk you through the curic k slim versus the curic k mini plus single serve coffee maker the overview we look at the features we look at dif the differences between the curic k slim and curic mini plus how to use it all the little settings that you can set so which one is the best for your home that decision is up to you and my best option is the curie k slim the curie k slim have a multiple reservoir it's also a space saving it has three car sizes that you can choose from you can brew your coffee fast and within one minute your coffee is ready both curie k slim and curie k mini plus you can use any leading brand coffee parts you can use folger Starbucks, green mountain i'm a tea girl so i use my tea pot that's what i use in them you have a lot of coffee brand choose from you can also use a recommended reusable coffee cake cup you can find that at your local store also i can leave a link below the description of this video for you you cannot add milk or beverages in there it's only meant to use what so just use according to the guidelines manual and i hope this video helps you my name is florence at florencetracker.com if you are looking on a review on the Curic K Slim and the Curic K Mini Plus. Watch the next video. Subscribe to this channel so I can make more valuable videos like this. Thank you for watching. My question for you is how long does it take you to make your coffee in the morning? Leave your answer in the comment section below for me. Subscribe to this channel so I can make more videos like this. Thank you for watching my videos and I'll see you on my next one. Take care. Bye.